I lost my flip flop yesterday. I was over at the river and I actually recorded it too, so I'll show a little footage. <laughs> I was over at the river and I was wearing my flip flops into the river because I thought, oh, there's rocky rocks and some of them are slippery and maybe there's a creature I might step on. So I want to protect my feet, bottoms of my feet by wearing my flip flops in the river. It is a river and it is flowing, so and you can hear it right now too. Um, so as I went deeper into the river, I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I stand my ground, make sure my flip flops don't flop away. Um, and I felt it, especially my right flip flop in particular. I felt it like kind of flopping almost off of my foot. I was like holding for dear life with my toes on the, on the flip flop, on the little thong part. And there was a few times I almost lost my right one. And then funnily, it was the left one that I lost. First it, it slipped off and then it was within range so I tried to reach for it. I was very close. Um, I, don't, I haven't looked at the footage yet so maybe we can see it. But <laughs> I was very close. I reached out to it and then I didn't get the grip and then it, it floated away. And I watched it float away. Gone. I, I was trying to see if it would get caught on a rock eventually but but it didn't <laughs> and I just think it's ironic and hilarious because I was trying so hard to hold on to that right flip flop it's like that right flip flop if any of these flip flops are gonna be lost it would have been the right one because that one was the one that was um, uh, closest to so the water was going this way and I was facing yeah anyways the right one seemed the most uh, <laughs> vulnerable in terms of getting swept away however it was the left one that I ended up losing so what can we get from this maybe it's when we hold on to one thing so hard we're so like fearful of losing this one thing we might end up um, disregarding or not paying attention to something else um, and lose that in a sense um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so just, I guess, there's a lot of things I got from this experience, <laughs> letting go, you know, being unattached to, especially our physical things, um, also to just, and letting go, not just in that aspect where when I lost it, I let it go, because like, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. But also, I could have let go sooner. I could have just took off my flip-flops before I got into the river. Because um, afterwards, um, when I lost the flip-flop, I ended up not having... I took off the other one and, you know, I was fine being barefoot in the river. <laughs> so, if I just, you know, didn't have that initial fear of like, oh, there's rocky rocks, it's gonna hurt, or I might step on a creature and that might hurt them and me. Um, yeah, if I just let go of that fear initially, took off my flip-flops, when it trusted the river, I wouldn't have lost that one flip-flop. Yeah. <laughs> and then also the fear of losing my right flip-flop almost compromised the left one so yeah fear doubt holding back um, that ultimately will cause injury and that's in that's ego at the end of the day it's ego um, <laughs> fear those conceptions that like oh like I don't know I grew up having shoes my whole life so I have that condition of like oh I need to protect my feet but I was totally fine and a blessing after this loss, after just going full barefoot, um, hanging out in the river, I was able to grip the rocks and climb on the rocks better and more confidently even because with the flip-flops, I think there was still that potential to slip, not just in the flip-flop, but also like on the rocks on the other side because the flip-flops I had were rather cheap and so they were not made for climbing rocks 
So that was a nice experience to just be able to like climb. I actually went further down the river because of this, because I was able to grip onto the rocks better and be more confident in that way. So that was a blessing. I was able to connect more. So even in the loss, there was something gained. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the loss, there was something gained. Endings are beginnings. Um, you can't be lost. Wait, you can't be found if you weren't lost. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my story for today. I lost my flip flop. Lessons were learned. Realizations were learned. Downloads were downloaded. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's my whole spiel. Walking back was another journey too. So I kept the right foot flop and then my left foot flop. So the trail to get to the river, there's kind of, it's kind of rough terrain and it's very foresty or as my mom says, gubati. Gubat, gubat, gubat is forest and she says gubati. So it's foresty. And so, yeah. My right side had my flip flop and then the other side I had a plastic bag. I tied a plastic bag around it in order to, um, I guess, in case I stepped on any plants or anything stingy. But it didn't really protect me from like the terrain in terms of like the leaves, the sticks, the rocks. I felt everything. I felt everything. And even going back onto the path of the, of the ranch, the, the path the blocks are very like rocky still so it was quite painful but you know I guess that's my like karma you may say for <laughs> um, holding on to those flip flops attachment attachment brings pain suffering so let go you don't need the flip flops let go